Greetings, salutations, ladies, gentlemen. Petro here, truck there, my wife there. We're in Franklin, Tennessee, filling up the truck and we're headed to Washington, D.C. We're gonna put boots on the ground for this election. Wish us luck, road trip, here we go, another one. Can't we just agree, no choice of all chances. Don't stop me. Petra here, wife there. Uh, first little stop um, on our way to Washington, D.C. Uh, we had to stop at the gas station, you know, for pee break and stuff like that. And I was like, I bet you there's a cave around here. And there's this little uh, uh, lake uh, stream river here. Uh, super beautiful. You can see the leaves are starting to turn, you know, uh, uh, different colors. It looks really beautiful, really peaceful out here. But up this trail a little bit, there's a cave. Well, that's a big fish. So gonna walk this trail a little bit and there should be a cave right over here pretty awesome look at this beautiful trail man look at those colors everything's changing what a beautiful spot uh, I have no idea where I am I'm somewhere along the 40 highway and uh, looks like we got big tree that fell that's blocking the passage huh okay the caves right around this bend on the other side but you can see all these trees have fell probably from the last huge from when that hurricane came through so but I believe there's another trail up top right over here and I can probably get up and around I'm sure my wife's not gonna do that though but look how pretty this is. Beautiful Tennessee. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go up here. There's some thorns I see. Ugh. Not the easiest. These uh, leaves make it super hard. Uh, and then my wife just finds the easy way. <laughs> just yeah. Okay, the wife found the easy way. Yeah, there is another trail up top to where we can get around the trees. Beautiful spot. You know, just on a road trip, pull over, find something cool. Looks like we might have to keep going this way to get around the fallen trees. But there is another trail up here. Yep. Big trees filling down. Okay, people. There's number 79 cave right there. You can see in there, it is submerged in water. And I would have to get wet to get up in that. Uh, it's not that big of a cave. And I said in my information that it is full of water. And, uh, but there's number 79 cave on my road trip. Uh, maybe before this road trip's over, I'll be over, over 80. But we're headed to Washington, D.C.
Okay, where I was just at the cave is right over here, this side of the road. But I guess this is an old hydro uh, plant for um, electricity coming off of this off of this river and lake. But if you look, all this stuff's still here. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. Wow. Never forget this time. Look at that, these generators. Wow. Super cool. See that? Let's turn the uh, let's turn the old wheel here. Wow, pretty interesting. Really beautiful spot right here. I'm glad I pulled over and found this cool spot. I would have never known about this. But if you see. You got a boat launch right there. You launch your boat, your kayak. Um, and I actually think this is a lake and it's not a river. So it's not flowing really in any direction. Uh, pretty awesome spot. I'm Petro and that was that. made it to Roanoke, Virginia, and we're going to stop for the night. We're going to go have some dinner and uh, get started again tomorrow in the morning. Um, trying to get to the White House, making it to Washington, D.C. in the morning. We're going to make, uh, we're going to make this, this country great again.